We're glad to have you join us on News Now on TV 360 Nigeria. I am Fidelia Agunja. At least nine persons have died in an auto crash on Enugu Port Harcourt Expressway in Enugu State. The police public relations officer in the state, Abere Amaraizu, also says 12 persons were injured in the accident. Amaraizu says the accident occurred when a vehicle conveying a caterpillar and a 508 minibus had a head on collision. He says the corpses of the nine persons has been deposited at the mortuary while the injured persons have been rushed to the hospital for medical attention. Members of the Triper Tried Committee set up to come up with a new national minimum wage for the country are currently meeting in Abuja. The meeting holding in the office of the Secretary to the Government of the Federation has been attended by officials of the federal government, representative of the organized private sector and representative of labor unions. The meeting is holding few hours to the commencement of the nationwide industrial action called by labor unions. Joseph Mukang has been appointed as the new Commissioner of Police in Bayelsa State. He will replace Ebere Onyagoro, who has been redeployed to Force Criminal Investigation and Intelligence Department Abuja as Commissioner of Police for Special Fraud Unit. Mukang reported for duty on the 2nd of November 2018 and takes over today, 5th November 2018. The Governor of Plateau State, Simon Lelong, has paid a condolence visit to the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tuka Barotai, to commiserate with the Army over the murder of Major General Idris Alkali. Alkali's body was dug out of a shallow well in Plateau State weeks after he had been declared missing. Lalong paid a visit to Barotai at the Army headquarters in Abuja on Monday. Nigeria State Oil Company, the Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation, is set to sign crude for product deals with Shell and ExxonMobil. Now, the deal is similar to one signed with BP last week. NNPC imports about 70% of Nigeria's fuel needs, mainly gasoline, via swap contract. It has contracts known as Direct Sale Direct Purchase Agreement with 10 consortium that include trading houses that is Vital, Trafigura, Mercuria, and Total. The European Union has criticized the state of human rights in Tanzania and recalled its ambassador to Brussels for talks amid a plan for an anti-gay crackdown announced by a local official. Same-sex relations are banned in Tanzania, but last week the governor of the economic capital, Dar es Salaam, announced plans to launch a surveillance squad to hunt down gay people, but the government has distanced itself from the idea by saying it is not official policy. While well, foreign nationals visiting abroad will be allowed to join Britain's armed forces, the UK government is set to announce now currently citizens from Commonwealth countries can only join if they have lived in the UK for five years. But in a bid to recruit more servicemen and women to the Army, Navy and Air Force, the Ministry of Defence is lifting this rule. And in sport, Novak Djokovic officially returned to world number one on Monday for the first time in two years replacing Rafael Nadal. The Serb lost in the final of the Paris Master to Karen Kachinov on Sunday, but regained number one spot for the first time since October 31, 2016. While well, Liverpool has left Shadon Shakiri out of their squad for their Champions League clash with Red Star Belgrade, I mean concerns over the Swiss star's safety. Red Cross Red Boss Jurgen Klopp has um, taken the decision to omit the winger from his 21-man travelling party, which will leave Merseyside for Serbia. Well, that's the latest from our newsroom. Thank you so much for watching. I am Fidelia Agoncha.